This video demonstrates how to install the Showcase Windows 623 Series 3-Panel Sliding Patio Door. Be sure to have these common tools and supplies available throughout the installation. If you don't have a pen handy, you can find these lists of tools and packaged parts in print form on the Showcase website under Installation. To begin, you'll need to have these tools on hand. A powered hand drill with Phillips head and 1 8 inch drill bit. A rubber mallet. Utility knife. Flathead screwdriver. Putty knife. Tape measure. Cock gun. High grade clear sealant and a level. For safety and efficiency, it takes a minimum of two people to install this patio door. The packaging for our Showcase 3-panel patio door will include frame screws number 8, 2 and a half inch Phillips pan head, 3 per corner, riser and snubber screws number 8, 1 and a quarter inch Phillips flathead, 2 per riser and 6 per snubber, two types for L brackets number 8, Phillips flathead, in 3 quarter inch and 1 inch lengths. Four keeper screws, number 8, 3 inch Phillips pan head. Interlock screws, number 8, 3 quarter inch Phillips pan head with tech tips. Four astragal screws, number 8, 1 inch Phillips pan head. Eight T bracket screws, number 8, 2 and a half inch Phillips flathead. And for impact windows only, we will include impact brackets with number 8, 2 and a half inch Phillips flathead screws, 3 per bracket. For the optimum installation job, please use only the screws we have provided in our packaging. Next, let's review the smaller parts you'll find in our packaging, which are 4 L brackets, bumper stops, gaskets, white weather strip pads, T brackets, keeper and snubbers. Finally, here's a rundown of the main parts of the three-panel patio door from Showcase. These include sill risers, sill thresholds, head and jam covers, three-panel interlock, jams, frame sills, header, and an impact bracket where needed. We suggest that you create a layout of the door and assembly parts on a clean floor space. This will give you a mental picture of the door and the installation steps involved. It will also help you organize and keep parts accessible and in order. At this point, you'll also want to make certain that all frame parts fit together properly. First, apply silicone to the door jam and header. Then use three two and a half inch pan head frame screws to fasten the jam to the header. Throughout this installation, be sure not to over tighten screws. This can strip screws or damage parts. Next, there are two sill gaskets, one for each side of the threshold. Remove the backing from the adhesive side of the gaskets. It's a good idea to remove all backing first, including the three holes for screws. Then, align left and right gaskets to the corresponding threshold parts. Press firmly into place matching gasket holes with screw holes. Now, align the sill with the door jam. Use three frame screws to fasten the sill to the jam. Repeat these steps for the opposite corner. Remember, before installing a frame in an opening, make certain the opening sill is level side to side and front to back. Now for the door frame. You'll find the door frame already has the snubbers in place, so there's no need to screw down the snubber in the header section. For the sides, we have supplied six one and a quarter inch flathead snubber screws to fasten each snubber to the frame. Simply repeat these steps to fasten the other snubbers into place.
The next step is to install the sill risers. Position the edge with the raised lip towards the exterior of the door. Slide the sill riser until it meets the jam, but don't push it any further. Snap the sill riser into place. Use three one and a quarter inch flathead screws to fasten the sill riser into the proper position. Repeat the same steps for the installation of the next sill risers. To install a panel, look on the edge to locate which side is the astragal. Remember, showcase patio doors will always have product labels on the interior side of a panel. You'll be installing the panel so that the astragal side faces the outside and the unmarked side makes contact with the snubbers. Insert the top of the panel into the header track. Then pivot the bottom of the panel onto the sill. Lifting the panel up and onto the riser, slide the panel all the way to the jam until contact is made with the snubber. Install the next panel the same way. The next step is to install the L brackets. There are two different sized screws for these L brackets. The two longer one inch screws fasten into the panel while the four shorter three quarter inch screws go into the threshold. Be sure the L bracket remains against the back edge. You need to allow space so the exterior screen can slide freely. Use a 1 8 inch drill bit to pre-drill for each screw, then attach all screws. Repeat these steps for the lower L bracket on the other fixed panel. Install the upper L brackets on the next panels. Again, the four three-quarter inch screws go into the frame, while the two one-inch screws fasten into the panel. Now, locate the profile for the astragal. This side fits onto the inoperable panel of the door. Note, this is the top, and this part goes to the inside. The piece has already been notched and it's ready to place into the panel labeled astragal. Use a rubber mallet to gently snap the astragal profile in place. To attach the astragal support to the door interior, pre-drill holes through the cutouts. For this step, we highly recommend using a drill with a magnetic tip to attach the four 1-inch astragal screws. Pre-drill two holes, one at the bottom, and one at the top of the astragal support piece. Then, fasten the astragal screws into the pre-drilled holes. You'll find two different interlocks for the three-panel door. Note, this interlock has a smaller notch, and this one has a larger notch. The piece with the larger notch is for the operable panel. The interlock with the smaller notch is for the fixed panel. Take the interlock with the smaller notch, and position it so that the black weather strip is on the interior side. The interlock will be installed onto the fixed panels. Use a rubber mallet to snap the interlock into place. Next, you'll be pre-drilling five holes in the interlock piece using the 1 8 inch drill bit. You may find it's more accurate to drill holes in this order, at the bottom and top first, then drill hole number three for the center. Finally, drill the last two holes numbers four and five, between the center holes and outer holes. Fasten the interlock piece with five three-quarter inch pan head interlock screws. And remember, do not over tighten screws during any assembly process. Now, to attach the interlock covers, locate the two sizes you'll need. 
you will use the longer covers for the fixed panels. Install the cover starting from the top. Again, use a rubber mallet to snap pieces in place. The next step is to install the interlock on the operable panel. The adjustment screw holes and rollers will be on the exterior side. You'll find the black weather stripping is also attached to the exterior of the door. Beginning with the pieces flush, use a rubber mallet to snap the panel into the track. At this point, you need to pre-drill five holes into the interlock using the 1 8 inch drill bit. Fasten the part with the five self-tapping 3 quarter inch pan head screws provided. Although the screws are self-tapping, you may find that pre-drilling has made the process easier. Begin the interlock cover installation by pinching the end as you hold it. Insert and swivel the cover into place. Use the rubber mallet to snap in the remainder. To avoid leaving gaps or air pockets, slowly inch along with the mallet until the cover is securely in place. Peel off a white weather strip pad and place on the bottom and top of the panel adjacent to each end of the interlocks. Install the operable panel into the frame by putting the top into the header first. Then pivoting the bottom of the panel into the sill. Ensure the side of the panel with the labels faces the interior. With a Phillips head screwdriver, raise the panel all the way up so you can make any needed adjustments. The roller adjustment screws turn clockwise. Again, be sure not to over tighten the screws. Adjust the rollers as necessary to ensure the operable panel is straight and glides easily. For the last steps, locate these three similar head covers. The longer pieces are the head and bottom covers for the fixed panel with the astragal. Note, the smaller head cover is the same length as the sill pieces. After positioning the notched ends of the threshold to face the exterior, use a rubber mallet to secure the sill threshold. As mentioned, this shorter profile is the piece for the header cover. You can snap it securely in place by hand. The longer profiles are also used as the header and sill covers for the next fixed panel, the one with the astragal. The side with the raised lip will be on the exterior of the patio door. Snap each piece into place by hand carefully sliding the profile under the vertical piece as shown. Now install the jam fillers on both jams of the door. These jam fillers have notched ends that face the fixed panels. There is also a filler for the header. Snap each piece securely in place. Now you're ready for the astragal reinforcement cover. Begin by applying silicone to the inside, then fit onto the door frame. Complete all door panels in the same manner. To install the keeper, first mark the panel on the bottom and top with a pencil. Mark the bottom edge of the hook where it engages with the lock mechanism. Conversely, 
the top hook is marked at the top edge. Then close the door, but not completely, and transfer the marks to the opposite side. Slide the door back and disengage the lock. Position the keeper in the center of the channel. The bottom and top of the keeper should be aligned with your pencil lines. For the middle openings, you'll pre-drill in the center of the openings. This allows you to shift the keeper up or down to align the lock mechanism. Fasten a keeper screw in the center of the channel. But do not fully fasten at this point. If needed, adjust the keeper. Then, pre-drill and fasten the adjacent screw the same way. Now, close the panel and test the lock. Make further adjustments if needed. When you're satisfied with your placement, finish fastening. One of the last steps is to pre-drill the final outer holes of the keeper. Place these screws at the top or bottom edge in these openings, not in the middle of the opening as before. Fully fasten the last screws. Attaching the door handle is your final step. When your installation is finished, your customer will have a beautiful, durable, showcase brand patio door. Built with quality by Showcase Windows and Doors in Houston.